I don't think any of us associate Kia with SUVs, but that seems to be a problem that Kia wants to face head on with the new Kia Telluride. We all know Kia has been busy rebranding itself in recent years with the new entourage of compelling vehicles from the Optima to the Sportage to the Sporty Stinger. But can Kia now find success in a competitive SUV market? Let's take a closer look at the Kia Telluride in today's story of the day and find out. Some of you may be surprised to hear this, but the Kia Telluride was actually designed right here in the US, uh, in California actually, at Kia's design center out there. But what better place to design a proper full-size SUV than in the States, where we know the consumer base loves their full three-row SUVs. So let's dive right in and start looking at the design of the Kia Telluride, and make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the design. Personally, I'm actually quite a fan of the look. The first thing you will notice is its size. They truly did develop a full-size SUV, keeping the roof line flat to preserve headroom even way back in the third row. Up front we have a larger tiger nose grille flanked by the LED headlights, and throughout the exterior a focus was placed on balancing refinement and utility, according to Kurt Call, who was the lead designer. The vehicle is also pretty long with a wheelbase of 114 inches, so there should be plenty of room in all the three rows for legroom and shoulder room. This also means a lot of cargo space with the seats stowed away, and around back the tailgate features a Telluride lettering uh, between the LED taillights. As we move inside the vehicle, the Telluride will be able to seat up to eight or seven if you opt for the second row of bucket seats. Call says that the design team also focused on visibility from the interior, and so that even the third row passengers have kind of a premium spot and good views out of the vehicle. Interior comfort is enhanced by Kia's efforts to sound den the entire interior. Uh, they said it was a more extensive effort than they've done before on any of their vehicles. And the Telluride will also be filled with tech, including stage two autonomous driving capabilities, advanced blind spot monitoring, and an all new Kia Uvo infotainment system on a 10 inch touchscreen. As for performance of the Telluride, this may be sort of the sore spot uh, compared to some of the performance oriented SUVs in the market, but the engine will be an updated version of the 3.8 liter V6. It still produces 292 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. I am glad to see that they're avoiding the four cylinder altogether in this SUV. It's simply too big for it. But I still worry that only 262 pound feet of torque is not going to be enough for an SUV of this size, and that will be an off put to some customers who want to use it for towing. But on the bright side, this will be paired to an 8 speed automatic transmission, so those extra gears will really help with efficiency as well as keeping it in a power band when needed. Another key factor is the weight, and at this time we don't know the weight. Uh, obviously it's a large vehicle, so that will have an impact on this performance and efficiencies, but we don't know what kind of steps Kia has taken to keep it lightweight at this point. We do however know that the platform is front wheel drive based with an option to send the torque to the rear wheels, which will happen automatically when slip is detected, or you can toggle all wheel drive lock to keep all wheel drive on at all times, or you can also opt to have a front wheel drive only model. The Telluride will be arriving at dealerships later this year, but we still don't know the pricing. Uh, based on the starting price of the Sorento, which is currently their largest SUV or crossover, uh, at about $26,000, we can certainly expect the Telluride to come in quite a bit higher. There's a lot of tech and features and utility packed into this vehicle, as well as a much bigger overall frame and package. So I'd expect the starting price to be around $38,000 for a base model. So to wrap things up here, I think there's a lot of things going for the Telluride. It has good looks, lots of tech, it's a roomy interior, and it should be a pretty capable vehicle on and off the road. So I'm expecting the Telluride to be pretty competitive in the market. I think I'll have a, have a good stay here, especially in the US. But what do you guys think of the Telluride? Are you a fan of the looks like I am? Or how do you think it's going to fare in the marketplace? And how do you think it compares to the competition? Do you think it can beat out some of the other American SUVs in the market from GM or Ford? Um, let me know what you think down below. I'm interested to hear your opinions on this as well. But as always guys, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next story of the day.